Today I'm going to show you how you can make the absolutely yummiest, fluffiest brioche burger buns that you can ever make. You know brioche means lots of butter, right? Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today we're going to be baking the best possible burger buns that you could ever make. It does require some work and you will need a stand mixer. Other than that, it's just regular bread baking ingredients like yeast, flour, eggs and milk and uh, lots of butter. Copious amounts of butter. You know, there's only really two things that make everything better. And one is bacon and the other one is lots of butter. These buns freeze really well. So while you're making them, you might as well make a big portion. Uh, so you can just freeze whatever you won't need on the same day. In Denmark, we have a roast pork burger with crispy crackling. It has a pickled red cabbage and pickled cucumbers on it, and it's one of my favorites. It's called Fliskestai Sandwich. Can you say that? Fliskestai Sandwich. It's a very beautiful language Danish, isn't it? All right, load up on butter and let's get started. The written recipe, the ingredients, and the amounts are linked in the description. In the bowl of your stand mixer, combine 180 grams of egg, 40 grams of sugar, 75 grams of milk and 7 grams of active dried yeast. If you're using fresh yeast, uh, use 50 grams, crumple it into the mixture. Whisk it together so it's all combined. Then with the dough hook attached, start the mixer on medium speed. Add the salt and uh, then add the flour little by little. Scrape down the sides as needed. When the flour has been combined, start adding the butter little by little. Wait for it to be incorporated before adding more. Keep mixing until the dough clears the sides, not necessarily the bottom. Take somewhere around 20 to 25 minutes. If you want to make sure that the gluten is properly developed, uh, you can do a window pane test here. Spray a container with nonstick spray and move the dough to the container. Cover it with cling film and put it into the fridge for at least two hours. You can easily leave it in the fridge uh, until the next day at this point. When you're ready to shape your buns, get the dough from the fridge. Measure out 90 grams of dough per bun. That gives you buns of about 10 centimeters diameter, uh, about four inches. Shape the bun by pushing the side of the dough underneath the dough up into the bowl. Turn it a little and uh, keep going until you have a taut surface. Once the bun has nice surface tension, put it down on your unfloured kitchen counter and put your hand over the ball like a claw. Uh, the palm of your hand should be touching the ball lightly. Move your hand in circles and you have a completely round ball. Put it in the middle of your mold and cover it with a dish towel. Repeat with the remaining dough. It should make about eight buns uh, with maybe a little left over. Spray the buns lightly with oil and press them flat with your hand. Cover with a dish towel and leave to prove somewhere warm until doubled. It takes about two hours. Before the two hours are up, preheat your oven to 175 degrees Celsius. That's about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't use fan assist. Add a pan of boiling water to the bottom of your oven. Prepare an egg wash combining the remaining egg and the remaining milk. Brush the buns with the egg wash. If you want the buns to be seeded, this is now where you add the seeds. I totally love my burger buns with sesame seeds. Add the sheet pan to the oven and spray the sides of the oven with a mister. Bake for five minutes, then remove the steaming pan and bake for another five minutes. Check the internal temperature. It should be at about 96 degrees Celsius, about 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep baking until it hits the right temperature. Let it cool on a wire rack. It can be stored in a plastic bag, which will help the crust become soft, which is actually what we want with this kind of bun. This is also the reason why you shouldn't store your sourdough in a plastic bag. You can store them in the freezer for up to three months. That's it, we made the most awesome burger buns. With lots of butter. That's how you make delicious butter-infused burger buns. It's not really that difficult and it's way worth the effort. I was gonna say, are you ready to see my fluffy buns? But I think people might misunderstand that. 
So, um... Thank you for watching. I hope you'll try and make these delicious burger buns. They're better than anything I've tried from any bakery or store. I think I may skimp on the butter. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss any future videos. See you next week.